How's it going everybody? This is Cameron White with White Light Astrology giving you guys a weekly forecast of what the heck is going on in the universe. This is, uh, you will never forget this week in your life. This next week leading up to Friday and Saturday when we have this full moon in Aquarius, or no, that's going to be on uh, Monday, my bad. After the full moon in Aquarius and we have this Mercury retrograde, this whole next week You'll never forget. Uh, some big things have been happening. Uh, however, before I get into that, I just want to make a couple announcements. Um, yes, uh, I did move back to Vegas. However, I'm in Lake Havasu right now, as you can tell. Definitely not the Strip. Uh, I recently got into a car accident. Uh, I am totally okay, though. It just totally shook me up. Kind of messed up my plans with moving and everything. Um, so yeah, I just want to give you guys the update on that. What else is going on? Jeez, I have a Mercury retrograde class telling everybody what this is going to be about all in this big energy day on uh, Mer on Saturday the 12th at uh, Enchanted Forest Reiki Center. So if you guys are in Vegas, feel free to come by. It's at 2 o'clock. Tickets are 15 bucks. I'd love to see you talk about astrology. Um, and that's about it. I'm also... Um, I've been doing a lot of work with astrology. I've been doing this for quite some time now. And with everything going on... Uh, it's kind of like hard for me to even ask this kind of stuff because I'm not like it. Um, however, I am accepting donations right now. Uh, if you guys would like to PayPal me or Venmo, I'm not looking for a goal. I'm not going to stop doing these videos. However, I really would appreciate anything you guys have. So if you really enjoy my videos, if you you know want to keep seeing me do more of them and you know help me with my pursuit, uh, you know feel free to donate whatever you can. Everything is super super you know appreciated and welcomed. So thank you guys so much for you know doing that. My both my PayPal and Venmo are at White Light Astrology. So just type in that link and you'll find me I, I think my picture my picture of me is for my face or whatever so you could figure out who I am um so let's get started the first thing I wanted to say um we have Neptune Chiron Uranus Pluto and Saturn all retrograde I didn't even talk about the Uranus retrograde in the last video and um wow pretty big fucking deal so with this Uranus retrograde this is bringing the the Uranus energy to even more uh of, to more to surface in a sense it's a lot more extreme the the emotional charge the self charge you know behind the whole Uranus you know the liberty the freedom and all that stuff and when it's in Aries you know this is about self this is about feeling this is about emotion and I'm not talking about the Cancer and the Scorpio the watery sign emotion I'm talking about this this energy that you have with yourself Aries is very determined Aries is very focused and Aries can also be very very hard on itself so there comes this emotional um, this emotional effect on you when it's you know when you're pulled up and down in extreme amount of ways and now that Uranus is retrograde it's really testing us it's testing us with what our worth is with what our wants are with what our needs are what's going to be worth it for us what's giving us the more more power more freedom more liberty all this Uranus type energy all this crazy type energy it's bringing the focus and it's bringing it to our face going is this what you want is this for real is this going to be the way that it's going to be? And with Chiron retrograde, uh, someone mess, uh, someone said something about uh, Chi like Chiron being aspected to this. Chiron is squaring Saturn. Chiron is, you know, now that it's in Pisces, it's going, you know, at the last degree of Pisces, now that it's retrograde, it's bringing all this eternal, I shouldn't say e eternal, but internal pain with um, confusion. When we step into the spot of confusion and we don't know and we're just going to adapt to our environment, we have this weird pain where it's like, I think I'm in the right place at the right time, but all of a sudden I'm not and nothing really makes sense. It's just bringing all this confusion to everything. And you can be in like really, really internally um, thinking about a lot and really processing it. And a lot of that helps. However, how to get through any Pisces energy, any negative aspect is about becoming in alignment with yourself, whether it's meditating, whether it's, you know, what other kind of art that you do, getting in alignment with yourself, getting in tune with yourself. What is right to your intuition? What is right to your consciousness? What is right to your subconsciousness? What's going to heal you more? What makes more sense, even though it may not make sense? That's what this Chiron is bringing. This is what Chiron's bringing to us now. It's like, Okay, now I have to really dig deep down and it's been hurting, it's been hurting and it's going to hurt to expose a lot of the truth to a lot of the light because, you know, your mind is wanting to protect you, your mind doesn't want to see some of these things but once you actually step into that and you actually look inside yourself, things are going to become a lot easier and a lot clearer. So on Monday, I know I talked about this in the last video, however, we're having this full moon in Aquarius. Everything's on the table. Everything is on the table. Everything is there. Everything's going to be there. And from now on until we have the eclipse, everything is just going to be intensified. So this full moon in Aquarius is showing us all aspects. If you think last week was crazy, we still got this whole week to go. And then we got next week to go. However, with the full moon in Aquarius, this is showing us 
everything. It's gonna start off Monday beautifully because now we'll have all the facts. Now we'll be able to see things through a different perspective. Yes, things will still be a little bit confusing and kind of hard to uh, put together in the sense because what else is going on? Oh yeah, Pluto is gonna be opposing Venus. Venus is gonna square Jupiter. We're gonna have that T squared with Pluto, Venus, and Jupiter. And Mars will be trining Saturn. So this is taking immediate action on these things, on these lessons that you know that you've been needing to learn before Saturn goes uh, direct, I think on August 21st. As Mars trines Saturn, this is time to take action, time to get things going, time to get things moving with where you want your direction to be here in the next couple months as Saturn goes direct and starts moving into Capricorn. This is the time to get the ball rolling. This, as Saturn goes direct, it'll be a lot easier, but as Mars starts trining it, this is the time to put your energy, to start putting your intention and your focus on what are you still trying to create before Saturn goes into Capricorn? What are you still trying to achieve? What, how much farther can you really expand yourself? And as Pluto, Venus, and Jupiter get in this T-square, Venus is in Cancer now. Things are getting really sentimental. Things are getting really emotional. It's starting to feel like you don't have a... Uh it's like, it's like you don't have a home. Like Venus in Cancer is like homey, like oh I wanna stay here and reclusive and it's like you're being put out into a social situation that you don't wanna be in. As it's opposing Pluto, it's making you change. It's showing you that there's only growth in um, the instability and not being comfortable. There's only growth in that. And the way to show, and the way to really bring that to yourself is the Jupiter and Libra aspect. That's what the T-square is pointing to. This Jupiter and Libra aspect is creating that win-win situation. Let's, let's get serious, let's create peace, let's create harmony, how can we figure this out it's the scales you know let's balance this venus and this pluto energy we have this extreme dark and this you know really really uh like innocent uh good and this innocent emotion um and especially with relationships right now this is putting the relationships to the test this is really showing everybody you know what is on the table what is the truth now we're now as it squares jupiter it's time to sort out what's right what's wrong what can you do what can't you do uh what do you need to focus on what should we take less attention off of as far as relationship goes that's going to be the big big test this is about you guys really focusing on what's gonna work and what's not gonna work and things are gonna be changing it's gonna be rough it's gonna have you open up and it's like that cancer crab shell of Venus right now you're gonna have to open it up and it's gonna be a little bit hard but it's about balancing the scales this is about finding the peace finding the beauty in it finding the uh, enjoyment of it being spiritually in tune with it using philosophy behind this stuff and last Tuesday um, on Tuesday, the moon will be sextiling Uranus. Now, as Tuesday comes into play, we'll have the moon go into uh, air, uh, Pisces. It will be conjuncting Neptune, or no, this will be at the last degrees of Aquarius, however. Um, as it sextiles Uranus, this is bringing that self-charge again. All this, Anything touching Uranus right now is really, really sensitive. Things are extremely hyperactive. Things are really gonna be up and down and up and down for this next week. And it's about really finding that inner balance and being really grounded, even though there's not a lot of Earth energy going on. Anyway, uh, it's the moon sextiles Uranus. This is bringing that liberation, that focus, that clarity. Okay, like seeing everything on the table, what does that mean to you and what are you willing to do with it? On Wednesday, we'll have the moon conjunct Neptune, which will be then trining Venus, which is, it's gonna make things more confusing, but again, this is coming from that Pisces energy, coming from your soul. What does your soul need? What, who do you, like, what do you need? Not as a person, not as a physical human being. You have everything you need. The earth will always make sure you have everything you need. And it's not about what you want right now, but what does your soul need? What is your soul craving? You have something that is there, and with Neptune retrograde and Chiron retrograde, it's bringing a lot of pain and a lot of confusion and a lot of split ends. You wanna either go an extreme one way or an extreme another way. This is about coming back to what your soul needs. And as the moon goes into Pisces after this full moon in Aquarius, it's, it's gonna get a little bit, um, emotional and it's going to get also a little bit uh there's going to be a lot of anxious energy however it's the time to really put into place of getting one with yourself meditating being there for yourself getting clear on what your intention spiritually and on a soul level is thursday we have our second t-square with mercury saturn and neptune and uh neptune or mercury will also be retrograding on saturday so it's coming in a direct i think it's at like 10 degrees on win on thursday however as this Mercury, Saturn, Neptune square, we got Mercury and Virgo going like, oh, we gotta do all these things, we gotta do all these things, you know? It's wanting to focus, it's wanting to practice, it's wanting to heal, it's wanting to fix, it's wanting to get analytical. And as it opposes uh, Neptune, it's like, man, now it's even harder to even do that. Even though I have all this energy, Neptune's being like, no, it doesn't make any sense. It's like you can work on computers your whole life and then you open up the most basic Dell computer and for some reason, nothing's making sense. It's like, this should make sense, this should be easy. This Neptune energy is really intense right now as things are starting to build back up into all this energy we got going on on Saturday and the eclipses. Um, and this is pointing straight back to Saturn. Saturn is going, push your limits, extend yourself. This is about what you can do inside. How much, how much are you willing to grow on the inside? Not about on the outside, not about 
what you can do forward and what how you can move forward with things it's about how much can you grow on the inside and then on friday is this is what's going to tee us up for saturday because saturday is just going to be fucking crazy but friday we have jupiter opposed to uranus this is when all that tension all that energy of the jupiter and libra and the uranus and retro or uranus and aries of you know finding the balance within finding the peace finding the beauty and uranus and aries just being hard being very stubborn being very determined to get its own selfish way as these two oppose this is when things are going to blow up this is when things are going to get real this is when you may lean to a different side of the scales than you know yesterday this is when things might look a little bit different for you and you start playing in more into the role of the uranus energy or you might start playing into the role more of the jupiter energy and right now it's not about picking one or the other which is a lot of what the jupiter and libra is this is about finding balance in both how can you create a win-win situation and give yourself the freedom give yourself the 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 liberty give yourself the um the mental stimulation and the the fun of uranus and aries uh grand trine uh with sun mars uranus and saturn again this is bringing all the stuff to essence you want to start and take action on this this is the saturn and sagittarius stuff this is us moving forward this is bringing all all to fruition on friday and saturday are the biggest days and then the moon will be in aries it will be squaring venus this is our third t-square this week um, so that's just a lot of tension. That's just a lot of lot of a lot of insane energy And as the moon is in Aries and starts to conjunct and get closer and closer to Uranus This is bringing that emotional charge to you. All right. I got to break free. All right. I got to do something insane All right, I'm, I'm down to do it It's kind of like, you know, you got if you're in a if you and your bunch of buddies are about to like rob a bank You finally pull up to the bank. It's like, oh shit. Here we are. We got to go um and as it squares Venus, this is going to be difficult to really release this emotion. It's going to be difficult to be vulnerable right now. And that's okay because there's going to be so much going on. However, this week, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid for massive change. This is the week to do it. This is the... Uh, this shit's fucking crazy, guys. Like, I can't even explain it better. Mercury stops at 11 degrees. Sun and Mars both conjunct the North Node. So, as they conjunct the North Node, our North Node is telling us to go in Leo, go in this positive direction, give more love, give more abundance. What can empower you? How can you empower others? other people doing that? How can you lift the consciousness? And so, as Sun and Mars both conjunct North Node with all this grand trine energy and everything else going on, this is the time where it's gonna come up into your face and you gotta take action on it immediately. And then Saturday... Saturday we got the Grand Cardinal Cross, Uranus, Venus, Jupiter, Pluto, and then we got the Moon conjunct Uranus. That's going to be the day where everything makes sense. Uh, Mercury will then go retrograde on Saturday. This is the day where nothing's going to make sense. Everything's going to change. Everything is going to be different and everything is going to make more sense if that makes any sort of sense. I know I'm kind of just all over the place with this, but Saturday it's like, man, we got all these big, we got all these planets squaring each other, got all these planets trining each other. We have all this good energy, all this intense passion energy, and yet we have all this, also all this transformative energy. And um, it's going to be a lot. And Saturday with Mercury and retrograde in Virgo, take this time, whatever happens, whatever goes down, take this time to reflect, heal, and perfect what's on the inside. Perfect your emotions. Work on how you're thinking, what's healthy. Do something different. If you want to create different you know, results, you got to be able to do something different. Um, just be with yourself. Focus on the inside. Don't get too analytical. Don't overthink all this stuff. Don't get too crazy with it. However, be with yourself. Heal yourself. Give yourself some love and just really think about stuff because Saturday is going to be a really intense day, guys. And um, that's what I got for you. I'm not even going to go into Sunday because who fucking cares? Saturday is way crazier. And then we got, you know, next week I'll be doing that in the next video. However, um, this week, dude, this week, mark my words. So um, thank you guys so much for watching all my videos. I super appreciate it. Check me out on Facebook, on YouTube at White Light Astrology or Twitter and Instagram, even though I'm never on Instagram at White Light Cam. Uh, again, if you guys would like to donate, I'd super, super appreciate it. Uh, Venmo and PayPal is both White Light Astrology. Um, so I'll be with you guys this week for sure. I hope you guys are with me. I could definitely use some healing just going through so much with moving in this car wreck. However, um, I'll be with you guys, sending you guys, of course, a lot of white light, a lot of abundance and um, a lot of love, so take care.